Hey guys, Tech Made Easy. And um, there are two things I wanted to do in this short video. Number one, I really wanted to show in a better light a 7.5 amp hour versus a 10 amp hour because there's definitely a difference. I mean, it, it, it's almost hard to tell, but this is a 10 amp hour battery. This is a 7.5 amp hour battery. So I wanted to do a, a look at, at the batteries, but I'm very interested. One of my subscribers asked me if I could use, they could use one 10 amp hour battery in the snowblower. Now I have uh, obviously the, the single stage and the double stage, so I'm going to try that. But a good, a good look here, and, and obviously you'll see that there's definitely a little bit more bulkiness with the 10 amp hour. It, it's, it's just a little higher, a drop higher. It's almost hard to notice. Um, so it is a little thicker, yet it still fits where a 7.5 amp hour battery fits, which is good to know, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to tell looking at it this way, but um, obviously because they changed the colors and things like that. But if you look at it this way, um, you, will, you will see that this is a little higher up here. It is definitely a little thicker, okay? But let's take this 10 amp hour battery and put it in the single stage and just see if it'll work. And if it'll work, will it work in the double stage? That'd be interesting, right, in the two stage. So let me put this in here and uh, throw this guy in. All right, and, and you still get a little more room. I mean, hardly though. And, and we'll take a look at that. But as you can see, it's almost up to this part here. Whereas, let's look at a 7. Let me do a 7.5. Just, again, playing around with people wanting to know. So, you see there's more room here. I can almost put my finger here. So there's more room here. If I take it out, keep the camera at a single, similar angle, put it in. You see how it's tighter, right? Okay. Battery's charged. It's locked in place. Let's see if it'll start up. Will it run with one battery? Huh. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. I don't, I've never done it. So, push the button in. Ah, it works. Brooklyn's kind of going, what's going on here? But, uh, yeah. You can adjust the speed. No problem. You can use your snowblower. I, I did not know that. You know what? Let's go ahead while I'm on fire. I'm going to take this inside. I'm going to go out to the garage. And I'm going to try the 10 amp hour in the two stage. Come on. Let's go up. There she goes. She'll come in the house for a minute. I'm going to put this 7.5 down and take this guy open the garage all right let's check that out let's see zoom out a little bit here she goes sitting in the corner and let's do the same thing all right both bays one only one bay push it in all right Attach, touch the button turns green Wow! All right. Good to know. So you can use one battery. It's like using two five uh, amp hour batteries. So you can use one uh, one battery if you have to. If you really have to, why not? And you know what's funny? When I was doing a snowblower video the other day, I realized that. On the two stage, it starts to drain one first, and, and I could be wrong, but it seemed like it started to drain one, one first um, before it went to the other. Um, now, I did have a 10 amp hour battery in one side and a 7.5 in another, but hey, <laughs> if this was helpful, give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. We're, we are not perfect. Always trying to get better. Um, Got a lot of feedback on that last video, boy. People were like, slow it down, man. You are pushing the machine and off and on and off and on. I understand that. I appreciate the feedback. Guys, give us a thumbs up. Thanks so much. You have a great day.